Welcome to AzureTeach.net. Deployment slots helps us running multiple instances of the application, preferably with different versions of code. I am going to explain the concept and also show you the demo. Let us understand this with the help of few diagrams. You have developed an application and you are going to deploy that in app service. And the app service is running at www.azureteachdemo.com and the application is live and it is being used by millions of users. In the next release, you have added more features to your application and you want to deploy that to the production. Here we are deploying V2 version of the application to the app service and during the deployment, the app will not be available. If your app is related to any bank and being used by millions of users, it will be a problem. And also assume there is an issue during the deployment. Reverting the application back to the previous version will also take time. So here comes the deployment slots in rescuing us. As shown in the diagram, we can create multiple deployment slots inside app service. So this diagram has two slots, staging and production. When we are deploying the application to the app service, we'll deploy the application to the staging and we'll do the testing. And if we are satisfied with the result, then we will swap the slots. That means the staging will become the production and production will become the staging. So here, if you see the application is pointing to the production on www.azureteachdemo.com when we swap the slots the application will point to this version of the code and now the first one will become the production and the second one will become the staging so if there is any issue we can simply swap the slots again so that the previous version of the application is available to the users here i am in portal.azure.com and creating an app service i am choosing web app and here I'm creating a new resource group RG-3001. I'm clicking on OK and I'm giving the web app name as Azure Teach Demo. And here I'm choosing the runtime stack as .NET 5. And I want to go with the central US region. And here the SKU must not be a free tire. So if you choose this dev test tire the deployment slots are not available so here i'm choosing s1 which is already selected by default and here i'm going to the deployment and here i don't have continuous deployment monitoring and here i do not want app insights and i'm going to the tags and i'm clicking on review and create and clicking on create it will take some time to create the app service. Let us come back once the app service is created. Here the app service is created. I'm going to the resource. If you go to deployment slots, by default production slot is available. If you want to create more slots, you can use this add slot button and create the slots. For now, let us keep the production slot only. Here I have created a sample MVC application. And this is just a boilerplate code. This is the output of the application. Here I'm making a change. I'm adding H2 initial version of the app v1.0. Now I want to deploy this to the app service. So here I'm right clicking on the project, clicking on publish. And here I'm choosing Azure, clicking on next. I want to deploy this to Azure App Service, clicking on next. And here I want to choose Azure Teach Demo. And if you go over here, no slot is available because it has production slot only and that's the, deploy. That's the default slot. So here I'm choosing this App Service, I'm clicking on finish. It created a publish profile. I'm clicking on publish. It will take some time to deploy this code to the app service. Let us come back once the app is deployed to the app service. The application is deployed to app service and it is running over here. Now assume as part of next release, you have done a lot of changes and added more features to your application. Now you want to deploy the application to the production. 
I'm making a simple change over here. I'm writing next release v2.4. I'm changing this just to differentiate our previous version of the application with the current version of the app. As this is a simple application, I'm writing like this, but in real time, you will add a bunch of features and a lot of code to your application in releases. Now, if you release this application to the app service, it will take time and the time depends on the build process and also the size of your application. This is a simple application. It will take very less time. You have to understand this keeping the real time applications in mind where the application size will be huge and sometimes it may take more than 30 to 40 minutes and hours also. Now here I'm adding another slot. I'm clicking on this add slot button and here I'm giving the name as staging and clicking on add. Now the slot is added. So if you go inside this, it will have its own URL. So I'm clicking on this URL. If you see here, it is running with the default code of app service. And here I'm going to the production version of the app. If you see the URL over here, this doesn't have any suffix like staging. But here, if you see here, we have the hyphen deployment slot that is staging in the URL. So this is the only difference between the URLs. Now, instead of deploying our application to the production version of the app, we are going to deploy this to the deployment slot. So here I'm right clicking on the project and clicking on publish. And here we have one publish profile. I'm adding another publish profile over here. So I'm choosing Azure, clicking on next. And here I'm choosing Azure App Service. And here, if you go to the app service deployment slots, it shows the staging slot. So I'm choosing this. I'm clicking on finish. Now I'm clicking on publish over here. The app is published. Now, if you see the staging slot is having the latest version of the code and the production slot is still having the old version of the code. You can give this URL to your testers or the business users and ask them to test the latest features. If you feel the test results are satisfactory, you can swap these two slots. And also, if you want to test your app in real time, you can provide some amount of traffic over here. At present, 100% traffic is on production. Like you can give some 80% of the traffic over here. So if you give 80% of the traffic, if somebody access this URL, there is 80% chances that the app will show the staging version of the code. For now, I want to go with the previous setting that is the production is having 100% and the staging is zero. Now assume I got satisfactory results from the staging version of the code. We can click on this swap button. It will show you the source slot and also the target slot. So now I want to move the staging version of the code to the production version. So here I'm clicking on swap. Let us wait for some time until the swap is completed. Now the swapping is completed. Let us close this and if you access the staging version of the app now, it will show you the previous version of the code that is the initial version. So if you see we are in the staging and here we have initial version of the app and I'm accessing the production version now. Now if you see it is having V2 version of the code and now assume there are some critical issues you have identified with the latest version of the code and you want to revert your change back then you can simply go over here and you can click on this swap and again you can click on this swap button now the swap is completed so now if you access the production version of the code it will have the previous version of the code and in the staging, you will have the V2 version of the code. Even Azure have auto swaps feature also, like here we have done the swapping manually. 
and assume you have multiple slots over here and here I'm adding one more slot and I'm naming this as testing and clicking on add if you see here the slot is going to create it with hyphen testing in the URL and now you want to use this slot for the testing like you want to give this slot URL to your business users or the testers to test and once you got the results and if you feel they are satisfactory you want to move that code to staging and once the code is moved to the staging and you want to auto swap the staging with the production you can do that as well for that you have to go into the staging slot and in the configuration general settings if you scroll down over here by default the auto swap is disabled you have to choose this and here you have to choose the target so here i want to move the code to the production and save this now i'm going back to visual studio and here i'm making this as v3.4 and i'm publishing this and here i'm publishing this to the staging now the deployment is done now if you see the staging slot it is having the initial version of the code and this was there inside the production and if you see in the production we have the v3 version of the code so now the code was deployed to the staging slot and after that the swapping is done so now the staging is having initial version of the code and the production is having v3 version of the code if you feel this video is helpful to you please like this video and also subscribe to my channel for more videos on azure and dotnet thank you